there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaizo Redux. I'm your host, Tam Okalava, or Mr. Mokalava, and right now, uh, it's October 15th, 1941, and as you can see, the Commune of France, well, we kind of already invaded them. We had a good old time. I, have, I can't exactly remember what happened, but I apparently took out Cuba, Jamaica, already maybe Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and gave all that territory to the West Indies Federation. I figured, you know what, screw it, I don't want to deal with the resistance. And to get cores on these states, I think that's for the best. Um, also extended, I took a Costa Rica, Panama, and gave them all the territory through here. And I accidentally gave them Panama Canal as well. Kind of sucks, but oh well, I'll give them Panama Canal. Whatever. Um, other than that, not too much else has really happened. So yeah, we've invaded the Commune of France, and actually the Reichs Pact has already capitulated. So we're fighting the Third International. They're doing r relatively okay against Spain, but here are the casualties. We've taken 150,000 losses. It is what it is, mostly from Mexico, a little bit from France and the Union of Britain. Third International is taking a lot of losses as well. And of course, there's the remainder of the Reichs Pact, but it is what it is. We've got some comments to go through. Um, actually, what are we doing for the focuses? We're doing the fleet carrier plan, and we're also led by big ol' Big Mac over there, Douglas MacArthur, even though we didn't put him in command. He still found his way to become a Democratic elected. The Democratic Party won the 1941 elections. Despite losing some of their more radical members of the ODP and AFF, or AFP, they're still a very socially conservative party, although they're more fiscally moderate. Titan welfare programs? Oh, let's do this one. It hurts the consumer goods to give more daily political power and construction speed. Uh, you know what? No, I'll get a research slot. Public schooling support. Public schools must be adequately funded, and more importantly, they should have the correct curriculum. Teaching our children the importance of freedom, democracy, and liberty, as well as the evils of radicalism and cynicalism, is key to the future of our country. Uh, one of the comments, uh, a lot of the comments were just recommending me to play different mods, such as New Ways. Actually, I've been recommended to play the New Ways mod quite a few times now, so I'll check it out. I have no guarantees that we'll play it a whole bunch, but you know what? If it's good, hey, maybe we'll see. You know, we'll see. Um, you guys, just kind of hold for now. If you get in there, that'd be great, but yeah, we lost, so whatever. I don't really care. We need any more soldiers in here anyways. Um, unfortunately, the French, the new French, or will be coming in here too. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, or this is French, new French territory, just, you know, national France. And we also have 22 divisions coming in as well, even though they're training. It's going to take them some time to get here. That's fine. It happens. Uh, other people, uh, same people, the same people, or other people recommended that we also, before we forget, uh, we lost India. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Um... That looks like those guys over there. Kingdom of Morocco, whatever. Uh, oh god, all those guys are coming in now, which is okay. But, uh, try out Führerreich. Actually, this is one of the first times I've ever been recommended to play, play Führerreich. It's been a very long time, if I remember correctly, since I've actually touched Führerreich. And I have no idea how the, can the game is like now. Maybe we should go back and try it out. What do you guys think? Should I go back and play Führerreich? Has there been any updates for the game at all since, you know, I last played it? There, there must have been, right? There must have been, right? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, also, try out War of the Worlds, Nerves of Steel, which actually I've downloaded for quite a long time. I just never touched it. And try out Call of Cthulhu and Red Dawn. Red Dawn actually sounds like a lot of fun, so we'll see. Let's do public schooling support as well. Why not? Followed up with. Well, following up with. Pacific Shorts? Oh, I like that. With a population notably short on both entertainment and patriotism in these trying times, we should use the recent growth of cinema to promote uh, patriotism. We shall hire animators, particularly the Disney Corporation, to come up with patriotic short films and clips especially directed at families to reassure them for what we are fighting for. Absolutely. Alright, we got Janice Perry. Let's see. Well, I think Janice is probably the best one. We have Wilfred Dunderdale, William J. Donovan, Sterling Hayden, not bad, not bad. But let's can continue doing some of this stuff. Well, we can figure out what these guys are all up to here. Alright, so now it looks like for the most part, all these guys are over here. Ace pilots, pilots were promoted, which are very, very nice. Oh, destroyers have been sunk. Awesome. Um, Shock and also now. Oh, no, okay, well then. Um, let's do another land auction, why not? And then we'll do some naval auction too. Having a fifth research out will be very beneficial though. Hope you guys have a pretty good day. I'm doing pretty darn well myself. And, oh, looks like we got some tanky boys here, huh? Some tankerinos. Very nice. Um, I would like to actually use my tanks somewhat effectively here, so. And actually, we did, did some damage around here or something. Ooh. Or we took some damage. Yeah, whatever. It's all right. It's all right. Because I don't think the Third International is going to be able to win too much. But they can still probably do some serious damage to us. Um, oh, oh, we also have divisions down here, too, so. Some over there. Um, actually, if you, some of you guys want to come over here, too. It's fine with me. Make sure both sides just don't get the crap blown out of them. You guys are still in the water, which kind of sucks, but whatever. What? What are you guys doing? Come over here, please. Thank you. All right, we can try to go on in. Um, this looks like a medium tank division, and it truly actually is. You guys are still light tanks, which are okay, not great. Uh, send in the infantry too. You should do okay here. Should do actually. How much? How much manpower does the Communist France have? Radical socialists. They got a lot of manpower still. Germany was easily beaten by these guys. All right, so because of that. We're just going to go ahead and come through here first. Or just go down there. Okay, there you go. Makes it easy, guys. 
Let's go in there too. And keep these guys in place. Don't let them move. There you go. Go, tank boys! Go, go, go! Oh, we got those three divisions, and they have been sunk arenos. Oh my goodness, I love my tankies. Alright, you guys are here. Or, for the most part. We got a lot of people to get rid of, and then we'll invade the Union O Britain. Cool. Um, there's a river here, which I don't like the river. That's alright, we're gonna go here. We're actually gonna probably go straight from here to here, maybe? Or maybe here to there-ish? I don't know, we'll see what happens. Not super worried about it, but let's just go on in. We'll go in here first, and then take half and go right there. See what you can do. Sit in the armor, or I guess infantry. There you go, not bad. Alright everyone, so my apologies about that, but apparently, as you can tell by the length of this video, um, it's not going to be that long. Just because if I go any further in the game, the game will literally crash because apparently there was a update for Kaiser Redux at the time of this recording, so unfortunately this campaign has to come to an end, which is unfortunate. I think they actually added in a transmurray work, but I don't know, something like that. But anyways, I mean really my main goal here, why do you look, oh, that's a kind of a different color for Shang-Chi. But uh, really my main goal is to avoid the Civil War, which we did, which is great, so unfortunately we won't be able to complete this, but I do want to finish off a lot of the focuses, especially for this path, so... We're just going to go ahead and use console commands to get through most of these focuses, just see what they're like, and see what would have been if we were able to complete this. So, FA, thank you. Public support schooling, we've done that. Well, we kind of already read about that one. Patriotic shorts, already read about that one too. Moral education. Higher education has long been a bastion of the elite, and it should be kept that way. The prestigious halls of the Ivy Leagues are no place for those not prepared. They should be reserved for the future leaders of America, so they can receive the best education possible. Cool. You get more weekly war spread as well. That's pretty good. Social conservatism? All right. Support businesses. While the unchecked capitalist excesses of the Republican Party are a step too far, we must still ensure that businesses have the proper support from the government. Anti-syndicalist regulations are a key step on this path. Very cool. And business grants. Larger businesses also suffer in the Civil War, so when just like the smaller businesses need government intervention to be fully restored to their pre-war profitability. Nice. Strengthen state autonomy. The federal government cannot be expected to administrate everything. Indeed, the lack of states' rights in favor of an inept central government was central to the collapse of the U.S. Relief programs, taxation, and other administrative duties will further be devolved into the states. More weekly stability, but you lose a little bit more political power, so be it, and America's business is, bu is business. American industry was a backbone of our country, while the ravages of the Civil War might have destroyed our once prosperous commercial sector if we actually had a Civil War. With the proper amount of government action, it can be brought back into pre prominence. Nice. Family law. The strong society requires a strong society, okay, but sadly too many socially responsible citizens ignore this. The Family Law Act requires each state to enforce child support, requiring fathers with an income to contribute to their family even in the case of a divorce, and likewise requires wealthy sons to provide for their elderly parents if they fall into poverty. Well, I don't know if I can really agree to that one, but okay, on town support. There are a few entities left that are slow to both tradition and democracy, but one of them is the anti-syndicalist Entente. The Democrat Party's business, liberal and Catholic queens, have desired closer ties with them. Understanding that there are that there and our struggle is one and the same, we must request support in these trying times and time welfare requirements. Local and state welfare have been expanding since the late 20th century, but the resources are famously short as of now. We should coordinate with local governments and businesses to make extra local forms of welfare such as food and cash relief more exclusive to widowed mothers and tighten local workers' compensation to focus on the truly disabled. Levering Act. The New Hampshire Senator Stiles Bridges has, with assistance from New Jersey Representative Jay Parnell Thomas, written a new oath for all state employees, including teachers, to make take in which they disavow rac radicalism, especially cynicalism. Those who violate or refuse to take the oath can be removed from government positions where they may have caused some considerable damage and increased defense spending. After the potential civil war, it is clear that we must support the military should a similar event take place someday. We must also guard our weakened country from opportunistic vultures. In the pursuit of these goals, let us invest in radar technology as well as updated forms of artillery for our military and expand the National Guard. Strong military is more important than ever if we are to survive in a present situation. We should rely on the older and more established National Guard to defend us, sending our recently acquired business friendly funds and giving them permissions to initiate a new round of drafts. Social gospel, a simple fact of economics that wealth trickles down from the wealthiest to the less fortunate. We should ensure that citizens are well this new social gospel. Fiscal reform, though. We need a comprehensive reform of our finance and banking system. Cutting back red tape, unnecessary regulations, and other roadblocks to success are what this country needs after a potential civil war. Labor Management Act. Poor labor relations was a key spark behind the civil war. We should ensure that unions and other syndicalist groups have their power stripped away, and that business owners truly have their employees' interests in mind and bureau of the budget. A balanced budget is key in running any state. None of this deficit spending nonsense. We should only spend what we make and not a cent more. 
self-regulation, new, tr new trade groups are seeking to court our favor by showing interest in upholding social values via industrial self-regulation in what their respective industries ensure, minimal quality of life for workers and respect for patriotism. Starting with a new attempt by universities to stomp out radical thought, we should promote such uh, uh, industries who follow this model and provide them with extra small tax breaks. Protect American symbols. The radicals would destroy every symbol of Americanism due to their maddening totality of belief in the class conflict. Enough. The government shall promote the heavier use of patriotic symbols via contact with industrial trade groups, use more American symbols on government property, and ban flag desecration under penalty of a small fine. <coughs> Hayes Code. Ooh, look at that. I forget, was that Betty or something? Betty Bop? Following a promotion of self-regulation, several Hollywood leaders under the motion picture producers and distributors of America have sought to be more in line with the current trend by assembling a code of ethics to f be followed by the film industry aimed at promoting social conservatism. We should help coordinate with them to write the guidelines to promote such films. They get even more weekly stability. Plus, so we have all that. So that one's all done. Um, uh, we'll go through these. If you want to read about these ones, please go ahead. This happens every single campaign, so you can always pause the video if you need to. Uh, expand dockyards, sub-development... Liberty ships, and that's exact. This is exactly why I make sure that we don't almost ever use Iron Man, just because the game might crash, bad things might happen. Actually, I always do the exp expand the Marine Corps. I don't do naval training instead this time. Um, well, maybe not. maybe I do naval training. I don't remember. Whatever. Uh, Semper Fi, and as well as America Rules of Waves. Just it's unfortunate, but that it happens. But that's why I don't like using Iron Man. Persian influence. The location in oil Persia makes it rich in potential. Means it must be brought into the on top of the safety of all involved. European recovery program, we can't do that one, but we're going to read it anyways. Europe may have been retaken by its proper government, but it still suffers from the fallout of the wars and revolutions that took place for there. We must fund our allies with a grant and aid program uh, put together by the general staff and our top political advisors so they may rebuild more quickly. Stabilize the East. We must support our Eastern allies by bringing the Philippines under our wing and providing protection to them and others. Tokyo talks. War in Japan. Mm, requires all of the following, so we can't do this one anyway. We don't have the spirit of Monroe. Let's do patriotic broadsides. Let the people be reminded that not it is only unpatriotic to be suspicious of heavy foreign intervention, but quite the opposite, as what the Founding Fathers intended. Patriotic broadsides will dampen support for the open imperialist position and bolster our own. And let's do Tokyo Talk. Let's try something different. Perhaps not all is lost with Japan. A visit to the region could be mutually beneficial, as their diplomats discuss the means of achieving a non-aggression pact and embargo Japan anyways. Despite our earlier policies, Japan can still not be trusted and will need to be weakened via an embargo, specifically on oil. And sphere of influence. With the sphere of influence in the Americas, we can bolster our businesses with the connections we have gained over there and gain further diplomatic power in the process. Oh, American Panama. With the Panama back in the American hands, we will not make the same mistake we once did. We will invest so that the region is truly ours and send military officers to stomp out opposition before finally sending more Americans to live there in luxury, bringing prosperity with them in the Western Empire. Um, I think we heard this one. But let's do that again. We have reopened our we have opening into our vast resources of South America that the Iberians once believed belonged to them. We cannot allow the various radicals to consolidate in the region nor for the governments to grow too powerful when the resources are absolutely necessary to American power and their location to American security. The back door of America shall at long last be secured. Oh, we can't do this one either. Or this one, which kinda sucks, but whatever. Alright, so that side's done. Um I have done this one before as well. Social conservatism. If we're gonna go with social conservative, it makes more sense to go down this way. Mexican repatriation. Mexicans come here to do work on our farms, and that is what they must do. They must not be allowed to settle here as citizens of our country. However, when they are no longer useful in this regard, they should be sent back to the country. They will be able to take the money they made back to their families, and with their people will be separate from theirs as they should be. Federal ban of race, race mixing. Last time I did this, I did this one. Um, let's go a little more fun. Let's go federal ban of race mixing, since we did this one anyways. Race mixing will cause nothing more than the downfall of the Caucasian race, as documented by men such as Madison Grant. For the state of civilization, race mixing must be banned. Um, Jazz Crackdown. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Turn a blind eye, please. About, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Because I would rather do conditional black aid. Aid will be given to black families who prove they can contribute to society in a meaningful way and do not foolishly cross ex established boundaries. We hold these families up as shining examples of black life, while showing no tolerance towards those who choose to leech off others or push radical agendas. Oppose radicals. Sinclair and Hearst have pushed radical and oftentimes offensive ideas on race. We must maintain the traditional social order while making some adjustments to allow cooperative minority families to flourish. We'll neither turn, neither turn back the clock nor leap into the abyss of this front. Instead, we'll push reform, not revolution. Sort of social conservative. New uh, Lily White movement. Politics is a place of 
native white Americans, not of minorities who do not have the country's interests at heart or mean to unite the nation. The parties in local houses will do its best to only support white candidates, hire black Americans though. Discriminate against black Americans in the workplace will only hurt our country and labor force. If we're to compete with the major world powers, we must allow all people to get a job should they seek one. We'll encourage this behavior in the black community and show that black people can work just as hard as anyone else and fund local segregation. While we cannot enact national Jim Crow, we can favor localities that chose to engage in racial segregation via monetary awards and political cover. Uh, encourage integration. There's no reason why blacks and whites cannot live together in harmony. As long as family values are upheld and hard work remains in American tradition, there's no reason to oppose integration. We will pursue this policy as soon as possible, regardless of what our critics might say. So we fund local segregation, but we encourage integration from the federal level. This is weird. Call them racial conservatives. We've made such progress in the area of racial policy, and yet now we must deal with the repercussions of that. We will reassure conservatives that society remains separate and that no racial mixing will occur. Our society will be separate but equal. We got all these. So at the federal level, we want to integrate people. At the local level, local level, we love segregation. This is very weird. All right. Um, I, I also did USAC. If you want to read about these, please go ahead. Boom. And cast model development. Flexible bombies. Uh, Kassad does close air support. I usually use this site anyways. Fighter development is nice. Um, this is Central Operating Base. I'm going to read about this one. Please go ahead to. Expand the Air Corps Tactical School. Radar Development. Screaming Eagles, of course. Create the Wasps. Oh, you want to read about that? Please go ahead. So we're going to schedule new jumps and create the Wasps. Cool. All right, anything else? Ah, oh, yes. Fight, take the fight abroad. This happens every campaign for the most part, it looks like so. Military Research. Create the Women's Army Corps. Rifle improvements. I'm pretty sure I've read this through this. I might be wrong, actually. But it is what it is. I mean, this, this happens every single time. Liberty Bonds, of course. Uh, cool. And this will defend. Anything else here? Yes. I just want to make sure we get through all the focuses. Because I like reading the focuses. Um, I kind of wish I could tell you which focuses you've not done before. Or I've not done yet. Because, look, it says, says we have stuff up here. I apologize. I'm sure you guys can actually see it. And I'm just not looking at it. So, let's... Uh, so everything over here is done. Everything's over here. No, 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 no. We'll go from left to right. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Anything over here? No. Victory in the Civil War? Well, we didn't have a Civil War, so none of these can be done. Unless I'm missing one of these. Um, I'm so, I apologize for this. But I'm still looking. Oh, what have we zoomed out? Over the No, there's nothing on the left. Far left. Well, that might be it for us then. Because I'm literally not seeing anything else. I'm probably missing it. I mean, you think it'd be something like this over here, but... Well... I guess it's going to be it then. Yep, I literally don't see it. And I'm sure you guys probably do. I'm probably just not seeing because of uh, my lack of eyes. But I do apologize that this campaign had a run short and it just the game crashed. It was an update, so... My apologies about that, guys. But hey, if you enjoyed the short video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And another campaign, and another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.